Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridwell and I am declaring a war on Christmas. Now I know what you're thinking, but Tom, it's August. Why are you even talking about Christmas this early? You fool! Ugh. Don't you see? Every single year we are caught off guard by how early they start peddling Christmas, but not this time. Oh no, no. Not this year. This is the year that we are going to be ready. So when Mr. Christmas comes knocking on your face saying, Hey, it's September, you want to buy some freaking gifts? We're going to be standing there prepped and ready to take down this jolly monster. So today, my friends, we're going to lock and load. We're going to weaponize Christmas. Weaponizing Christmas. Weaponizing Christmas. Okay, so first of all, from what I've heard, you can't have Christmas without wrapping paper. Now, I don't know what this is. Is it, is it a gift of sorts? I'm not sure, but this needs to be a weapon. How can you weaponize wrapping paper, you might ask? Are we gonna hit people with it? You wish it was that simple. That's why we're gonna take our good friend, the Christmas baseball bat. What you're gonna do is very simple. Step one. Ah. Okay, so we've got our Christmas baseball bat, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep this by your front door, so whenever any carol singers show up, you are out ready for them. <laughs> so this is apparently tinsel. Now, what you can do with tinsel, obviously, is you could you can strangle people. Yeah, that's fine. But we gotta get a little bit more creative. We're gonna just we we want people to be dead very fast. What you're gonna need is a couple of these hooked up to a very powerful battery. Fantastic! Oh my god, I wonder if at Christmas they're called tin cells. Okay, you gotta put this end on. Try this at home! Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Got it. We go careful. Alright, there we go. So, now, you're good to do whatever you want with this. You can wrap it around your Christmas bush. You can put it around your Christmas house. I don't care. Anyone who touches this stuff, dead. Dead as a door bell. Were doorbells ever alive? Ooh, it lights up. That's fun. Th uh, this is some stuff. Okay, I don't need... I don't need all this. I don't need this stuff. Oh, it's important to do this while it's turned on. This is a very Christmas thing, I guess. Now, what are you gonna fuse that with? Is a whip. Why do I have a whip? You don't know my personal life. And there you go! A proper festive treat! Yeah, look at that! It's beautiful! Next up, we have the festive Christmas sock. I don't understand what you do. Do kids put these on in the morning when they go downstairs to do Christmas? Again, a sock. What are, you, what are we gonna do with this? Make it smell and throw it at people? Wrong. It's now a gun. That didn't work. So what you gotta do is you gotta get your, you just gotta get your shotgun. You gotta get, you gotta get your shotgun. And bam! There we go. Christmas gun. What are, what are these? What is this? Ball balls. Ball balls? Once again, you might be wondering, Tom, what is a ball ball? I don't know, but how are we gonna weaponize it? Okay, so once we remove the lid of our ball ball, we can add in our nails. Alright, that's our nails in there. Now I assume that like me, you have a box of fireworks you picked up in France when you were 12. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little cherry bomb here. Alright, we're gonna take open the cherry bomb. Lovely. So what we're left with here is the explosive filling and the fuse. And there we have it! A Christmas ball ball turned into a Christmas bomb bomb. <laughs> you light this sucker up, or you just throw it and see what happens. <laughs> They're dead now! <laughs> Alright, I assume this is like some kind of big sock. I don't know why Christmas has so many socks, but what's inside? It's a knife. <laughs> okay, we got these. What are these? Okay, we got some of these, and we got this thing. What do I... It's like a hat. Is this a hat? Is this a... Do people wear... Is this a Christmas hat? So what we gotta do... Is we take our Christmas hat... Here. A Christmas noose! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, I don't know what... We just... We just gotta... Okay. Alright! Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so we got this thing that says... Sam... Sam... Rook, Samstruk Yurim, Samstruk Yurim. We have a classic Samstruk Yurim uh, thing here. This is flimsy. Now you couldn't do anything with this of, of of use. So what we need to do is we need to give this some real welly. So what we need to do is take our big metal chains, and wrap these, wrap these. This is a lot like the whip. Now this has got a little bit more weight to it. So what you can do with this, you can hang it up. Uh, you know, above your above your Christmas house, and when someone knocks on the door to ask for presents or whatever the hell they do, you just cut the cables and dead. 
problem solved. So this is some uh, ribbon, I guess, but oh, what's that on the end of it? It's a hammer. Everything's fine! Okay, so what we got here is another Christmas sock. Again, I get it, it's cold, but you don't need this many socks. I found this to be the perfect sheath for whatever this thing is. Uh, my choice in a zombie apocalypse, honestly. But, you know, Christmas, zombie apocalypse, same thing. What?! And finally, when it's all said and done, you bury him in a shallow grave. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work, <laughs> hell yeah. No, I don't He's not going, is he? <laughs> Christmas! Well, that was stupid. So anyway, I've made a new book. It's called Sam Kills Christmas, and it's a picture book about our anti-hero Sam going on a bloody quest for vengeance against the evil Santa Claus. I co-wrote it with my friend Eddie Bowley, and it was illustrated beautifully by Dorina Hedwin. And it comes out in November. Surprise! This video is sponsored by me. The book has action and comedy, but it's also a little dark and twisted. Sam Kills Christmas is exactly the kind of book that I would have loved as a kid because it's not afraid to appeal to that, you know, naughty, mischievous, doodling people getting their heads ripped off and not understanding why your parents are now sending you to therapy kind of kid which I definitely was. So if that sounds like you, your kid, or someone you might know, then please check the book out when it's released. Or if your memory is awful, maybe pre-order it. It is fully done. I promise there won't be any DLC, microtransactions, or day one updates, because it's a book. Now I'm gonna go unwrap this baseball bat, I guess. See you next time. Tom Scott out.